right welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen and today i am doing the first ride on my brand new well not really brand new 2021 kawasaki ninja h2 um i did buy this bike used because i couldn't find any brand new so i got this one and it only had 1800 miles on it and as you can see it's 1832 miles right now um, I've only ridden it once before today and that was to go to the dealership to get an estimate uh, for the tank and the side fairing because during shipping my luck right during shipping the freaking tank and the side fairing got damaged so I had to go do an estimate for that but I had some personal stuff going on after that so this is my second time riding this bike and I'm just going out to cruise today to talk to y'all about it and why i bought this bike so if y'all know if you've been following the community channel or uh, my ig or the facebook group um i had an accident on the 2016 h2 the original h2 on the channel um ended up busting the oil pan and the bike caught on fire so um i walked away from it with nothing but a little bit of road rash on my backside and my wrist was a little tweaked it's still a little tweak right now and that was pretty much it the bike itself took quite a bit of damage but not as much as i thought it was mainly fairing damage so that bike i will be putting back together so just so you know that one will be going back together so i have two bikes on the channel two h2s on the channel now um the other bike i'm um thinking about doing something a little different with it um i'll talk to you guys about that in another video because today we are here for this bike the 2021 um this bike is it's basically all stock except for the windscreen and the tail tidy that is the only thing that the previous owner changed on it before i got it and as y'all already know <laughs> your boy didn't already ordered a bunch of stuff for it uh i will not be putting a swing arm on this bike at least in the foreseeable future but you know things could change but as of right now it will be stand stock wheelbase my uh, initial impressions of the bike um i used to didn't like the green frame um i don't know if it's the same green on these as it was on the 2015 but i didn't like the green the combination on the uh 2015 bike the green and the um the color that they had on the 2015 i just didn't like it but when i saw this one i don't know what it is the green just pops and it looks good to me so i like that green on this one um it's stock wheelbase and as y'all know i didn't ride my original h2 stock wheelbase very long so i'm gonna try to have some fun on this thing and just learn and remember how they act stock wheelbase be careful because <laughs> we know these bikes make a lot of power and they tend to act up uh stock wheelbase so we will be careful on this one um the dash the dash is the biggest uh upgrade to the bike over the previous generation which i don't even know if you can call it a generational change though but um basically they did away with the old screen and they went to this new tft type setup that they have which if you ask me it's amazing i love the tft screen but i wish they had kept the original tack this over here i do not like the way that that look i prefer the older one because i don't know it was something about the older one that all of that the numbers were blacked out they will light up when you hit a certain rpm range it just looked a lot cleaner to me than that setup that's on this bike um but they did do a good job switching to the tft so i mean it kind of balances it out if you ask me being back on the stock wheelbase h2 feels i don't know it doesn't feel foreign um power wise i think this bike was supposed to make a little bit more than the 2018 and before model i think and i'm pretty sure that was just them basically giving letting the bike breathe a little bit more from the factory it's all they did probably through tps um adjustment 
so um it's not like they made changes in the engine that i know of to get those changed i think they said they made some air box or air tube changes so i don't freaking know the bike's supposed to make a little bit more from the factory that's all i know in stock form so um can i tell the difference no because i haven't gotten on the bike like that so you can see i'm just out here going through a couple little curves or whatever right now talking to you guys and gals uh mailman up here but i think this bike is it's gonna it's gonna give me something that i needed stock wheelbase or in a bike in general and that's a challenge so having a stock wheelbase bike um that's gonna be set up um not like the 2016 i'm not doing um the motor work side but i am gonna do like all the boat on stuff uh, the bike should make somewhere around 240 i think 230 240 to the wheel which is a lot stock wheel base so i'm gonna have to obviously do a lot of setup stuff chassis adjustments and stuff like that to get the bike to do what i want it to do and then um and then um after that it's just gonna be trying to enjoy the bike man to be honest with you like I, I haven't really when it comes to racing i don't really look forward to like racing like i like the the i did like the vegas event i will say that i like the vegas event because it was at a location it wasn't out on the highway it was at a location a secluded location where you didn't have to worry about uh traffic somebody been burning rubber around here well you didn't have to worry about traffic uh nothing like that so you can just go out race and then have to worry about nothing those type of events i like so for those i won't mind doing it but like going out on the, the highway and freaking f like messing off or whatever like that's just not my thing like i don't i don't want to do that no more uh, i'm not saying i won't do it it's just i prefer not to like i prefer to do this like just you know hit some back country roads have a little time a little fun time talk to you guys and gals and that's pretty much it but the uh 2016 oh that front brake ew. that front brake is spongy like i almost didn't want to stop there i'm gonna have to either adjust the lever or bleed the system or something like the bike is brand new so and i think it was sitting up a little bit for a while before i bought it so maybe the pads just need to be bedded in again or something um i give it some time to see if they get any better but if not i either bleed them or get new pads so but yeah so right now like my impressions on this bike is i love it like it's super quiet right now it's funny it's it's almost like a uh a electric bike with a supercharger chirp on it because <laughs> you can still hear the little chirps from the supercharger um they're not loud but you can still hear them i will say this I don't remember the H2 seat feeling the way that this seat feels. It, it feels kind of, it's it's hard, man. Like it's it's not soft. I thought it was soft, but I do have to remember I had that um the one seat cushion. Uh, Lu I had the Louis Moto set up on my 2016. So um, let's go by the spot where I wrecked the other bike at. So this road right here is where I had my accident at. So I came down here and I was like right here and I went to forth to try to get it to go through. I hit it and I came right across here and right at this peak right here, you can probably see it on the ground where the oil pan hit. As soon as I came across there the front end and lifted up and I felt it trying to like pull back to go higher. I chopped the throttle and set it down, but because I was on the back side of that hill, the oil pan slammed down. The bike ended up over here in the orchard, hit one of them trees over there. Um, and I rolled out to the side. I didn't roll into a ditch or nothing like that. I was actually on the street. I made sure I didn't roll into the ditch or hit a mailbox or nothing like that. So, well, yeah, this is the road I had my um, accident on. So. And believe it or not, like I wasn't like I wasn't even doing like any like high speed testing or nothing. 
it was a whole it was the issue with the bike where it was stuttering from like 4,000 to 6 to 500 and I was trying to figure out why I was doing that because they had been doing it since I got it back from uh, getting the motor built and I couldn't figure out why so um, I had made some changes that had helped and then I was going back out to check it again and for whatever reason um, I, I was going in a way that helped before but it got worse so it was just at 4,000 and I like twisted the throttle a little bit more to go through it and once it hit like 6,000, 65 ish the RPM shot up anybody that own an H2 you know when the bike hits this power band it takes off it accelerates super fast so that's what happened and it started to do that right before I went across that hill and I didn't expect it and that's where it, where it caused the, the whole accident it wasn't I wasn't racing or nothing like that it was just one of those things where everything kind of aligned perfectly because if y'all been watching my channel y'all know i've scraped the exhaust on that bike before i scraped the oil pan um i've done wheelies i came down my wheelies harder way harder than that never busted the oil pan but it was just one of those occasions where it was like the perfect storm so but i'm loving this 21 so far um i, I even before i wrecked my 16 i was always saying that i kind of wanted to get another one and when i wrecked that one it just kind of pushed me to get another one while i rebuild that one so i got this one and so far i mean it feels good like like i said i haven't like got on it to see what it how the power feels or nothing like that but just cruising around um it doesn't you can tell if it feels it has that heavy feeling like when you're trying to like lean it or turn it but that's expected with a stock bike that weighs 520 something which i am gonna do i'm gonna do a weight video for y'all to show what it weighs stock and then what it weighs um along the way as i make changes and stuff like that um but yeah so i am going to make this right and start heading back to my apartment but i want to try and get a at least a part throttle pull in to see what the bike feels like since i haven't done that yet so we're about to find out right here oh <laughs> lifts up pretty easy Like really easy. I barely even touched the throttle right there and it lifted up. That was, obviously that was first gear too, which first gear is just violent as it is. Let's see. Feels good. It feels good. Yeah. No God! No, God, please, no, no, no! Ah, uh, that felt, that felt good. That pull was pretty good. Uh, first gear though, uh-uh, no bueno. <laughs> first gear, I felt it pull, it pulled the front wheel up. And I think I got, tr trash control is in one right now. <laughs> and it still picked the front wheel up. Um... I kind of want to change it just to see, but y'all know me. So we're going to go back to first gear. We're going to do a slow roll. Let's see how, how I lift up. Woo! That was a nice one. That was a nice one. It picked up a little bit. And remind y'all, that's I'm not even a quarter throttle. That was probably like 10% throttle and it's trying to lift up. We got some tuning to do on this bike. So next time, because I think we got a lot of rain coming in. But yeah, guys and gals, I just wanted to get on here and do the first ride video on this thing because uh, the bad weather we got coming in, I'm not going to be able to ride for much longer. And I got a bunch of parts coming in and parts that are already in that i'm gonna start putting on the bike but i wanted to at least show y'all the bike in its stock form before i do anything and just like my other bike my zx10 
I'm gonna be doing everything myself. So that's installing everything, tuning everything, like suspension, all that's just gonna be me. Like I'm gonna be tuning and doing everything myself. So um, I appreciate y'all for being here and for sticking around and watching the videos. Don't bag back. Cause I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs>